Hi everyone, Jody here. In my video this week, I want you to think about how you've behaved in the past when you've been stressed. So think about things like how you interacted with others. It's fairly common that people when they're stressed will behave in ways that they regret and can damage relationships. And I want you to think about um, behaviours that you've displayed when you're stressed. So these can be behaviours that kind of help you get through or numb feelings or give you a temporary feel better. Um, so common examples are things like um, your diet not being the best, so things like having a lot of um, takeaway food, um, over-consuming alcohol, and doing things like skipping exercise or, or interactions with others. Now I want you to think about what are some of the decisions that you've made when you're stressed. It's quite often that people will make decisions that aren't generally um, as logical and as good for themselves in the long run. Now, think about the things in your life that you've neglected when you've been stressed. So that could be things like spending quality um, time with people who are important to you in your life. It could be things like um, pushing aside health concerns and not having them um, diagnosed and addressed. It could be not spending time doing the things you love in your life because you're busy doing whatever you're, you're stressed about or, or um, for, for some other reason not doing them. So basic things in your life that you love doing often fall to the wayside when you're stressed. Um, and it could be doing basically behaviours or neglecting behaviours that um, really are not, the things that are good for your overall well-being, but they're neglected when you're stressed. So the basics are, are often things like diet, exercise, sleep, things like meditation, that sort of stuff. The last thing I want you to think about is what was your general peace of mind and quality of life and how was that affected when you were stressed? And that's the overarching kind of concept. Now, I'm guessing for most of you, most of you can think of some, at least some of these. And that says to me that you've had times in your life when you're stressed and these things have shown up when you've been stressed. And what I've just gone through are common things that get affected when people are stressed. Now, all of these things have short-term and long-term negative effects on your life. Um, and the reason why I'm pointing these out to you is to make it really obvious why it's important to work on your resilience. Because it's also common that people go, yes, that's important. Yes, I need to manage my stress better. But then they don't take the steps to, to build up their own resilience and to um, manage their own stress levels effectively. It's one of those things that people realise are important, but it, it gets very seriously affected, um, gets seriously neglected, and it also has enormous negative effects on the rest of their life. So it becomes a bit of a no-brainer of, of why you should be actually working on your own stress resilience for your own quality of your life. All right. I'm Jodie Welkling. Thanks for tuning in. And please remember, you don't have to accept stress as a way of life. Bye for now.